Okay, here is a bonus lecture for you. We're going to check to see if the um, ghost has gone off the stage. Has it moved off the stage? Because if it has, we want it to loop. We want it to come back to the beginning. In this case, that's what I want. So I'm going to um, add these conditionals in here, right below the uh, part where it increases speed. I'm going to check to see if game ghost is off the stage. Now, if you haven't done any programming, be programming before, um, then you're probably already finding the class a little hard, but uh, you definitely want to um, refer to that book and uh, refer to the source files I posted earlier on, I think in module two, way back when. I'm just talking about some of those um, essential programming things. So uh, you can't do much without um, conditionals and loops and variables and um, anything nowadays, pretty much. So we have this conditional checking to see the value of game ghost. Remember, game ghost is our object. We're checking on the x value. Is it greater than or equal to 550? If it is, then it's going to be um, uh, greater than the x value of our stage, and it'll be off the stage. If that's the case, reset game ghost that x value to 0, and it's just going to go back to the beginning. Okay, let's test it, see if it works. And actually, if that wasn't completely in there, now I have it in the movie. And you just see how it's eternally looping. So we're increasing that value. It's detecting to see every single frame. If it's off the stage, if it's not, it keeps moving it forward. If it is, it restarts it at zero. So part of using Flash is to be creative. Well, what if we need to speed it up? Well, we can certainly speed up our frame rate. We could also come down here and speed up the value that, it, that increases every frame. So let's say nine. I'll test, give that a quick test. It'll now go almost twice as fast. Now, to achieve a nice um, motion, you'll probably have to use a combination of frame rate as well as hard coding or something, something along that line. Um, you probably don't want to hard code and rely on that too. Uh, actually, pardon me. What I meant to say was you probably don't want to adjust the frame rate too much and rely on that because then that's going to control the value of all the movie clips. You may want things to move at individual rates. Uh, lastly, what if you want to have a certain area like it uh, inside of a box? What happens if you have a, a, a graphical user interface on the outside and you don't want it to go over that? So, well, we could change that value. Now it's going to just go in a certain amount there. Let me um, actually move that over even more. Because you remember the uh, area that's detecting is the full area of that movie clip. So. There we go. That's nice. Okay, cool. And one last one. Let's say I want to make that uh, so it starts a little bit farther over to the right. Well, I'll push it over under. Okay, let's test that out. And then I better have it start at the same place to be consistent. Boy, I'm just giving myself so much to do here. All right. Now I'm going to add a little interface and I would normally put it on another uh, frame, but I'm just going to go so quick here because I don't want to use up your valuable time. I will add my little, this is my little interface. I'll add another box in the middle. And there we go. Oops, change that color would probably be helpful. Add a red box in the middle. And now I'm going to select that red box and hit delete. I'm going to give it a test. It probably won't be perfect because I haven't tested it very well. All right, not bad, not bad. Let me um, just try one more thing. You get the idea of what I'm doing though. All right. I have guests over and they're talking in the background. You might be able to hear them. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this over a little bit more. And let's test this again. Gonna work. Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. Except obviously our character is still appearing on top for a brief bit. What I, I just adjusted again, but it's not worth it to take up your valuable time here because I think you get a pretty good understanding of how, how it's going. Let me mention one more thing though. You can use Add Child to take that uh, border that I made, pull it out of the library and put it on there. And then you can set the levels and the, um, of, of the hierarchy, sort of like a Z index when you're adding the child. That's a whole other thing. That's pretty cool.